Hey everybody, it's John from Wire. Um, I just wanted to make this video just to go over the new user explorer option in Google Analytics. I just saw this option appear just a few days ago and it seems like it's still in beta. But I just wanted to go over what it can show you about the users on your website and how you can use it to see where users are leaving the website and just get really deep into like individual users and what they're doing. So just an overview right now, the client ID, it doesn't actually stand for a user, it stands for a user's device. So for example, if we're just taking a look at this one right here, this could be the same user as this one right here, for example. But if it's using a Windows computer and this one's using a Mac, it's going to be a different client ID. So it's completely anonymized, so you don't really have to worry about discovering information about a specific person, although I can tell you just from looking at the session and the data I'll show you later that this client ID is probably mine. I'll show you how I figured that out later. So the sessions obviously is how many times the person has visited your website and uh, gone through the content. Average session duration, exactly what it sounds like, it's just how long they spent on the site. Bounce rate is how quickly they've left. Yeah, single page visits, so when they land right on the page and then they leave right afterwards, that considered 100% bounce, like these three right here. Revenue, if you have your store or your website set up to accept payment, um, Google Analytics can actually track the revenue that your store has in addition to transactions. And then goal conversion rates, um, I'm going to make a video about this later, about how I set some goals on my website, but goal conversion rate just measures the amount of percentage that the goals that you set are completed. So for example, if for this person I had, okay, if they spend more than three minutes on the website, one of my goals, I want, I want it to be a goal that says, if they spend more than three minutes on the website, I want it to be a goal conversion. So if this person had done that, this would be 100%. Anyway, back to the client ID. So I'm going to show you really quickly just an example of what a client ID um, information looks like. And this client has 40 sessions on the website. Session duration is 59 minutes. And of course, there's nothing for sale on the website, so the revenue is at zero. So here's how I think I know that this is me. The reason is that there's no reason why someone would come back to the same page every single day, every single day, unless they were me trying to do some testing. So I don't even think that I've come back to this page every day. So maybe this is a bot. But it just goes to show you that you can probably figure out how you are by using the user reports. But I, I mean, I have no idea who the rest of these people are. So anyway, let's take a look and see what we can understand about each one of these user sessions. So I'm just going to pick a random one right now. I'm going to pick this one right here. So this person... Um, arrived on the website April 6, 2016. They got to the website by organic Google search, I assume, and the device category was a desktop. So right off the bat, we know this person is on a computer. So what I can tell from this user report is that they viewed this website page, and then that is all that happened. They left right afterwards. So this one's kind of under, un uninteresting. Let's go back to another one. And the reason why I'm sorting it by sessions from lowest to highest is because usually these top sessions right here are either bots or as I said earlier it's probably myself going through each one of these pages because as much as I would like my website to be popular I don't think someone's coming back 29 times anyway so let's just scroll through a few pages here okay so let's pick this one okay so this one did exactly the same thing one session organic search and it's on a mobile device and they viewed this page. So I'm going to try and see if I can find a user explorer report that actually we can find some more deeper information off of it. So I'm going to pause the video and come right back to that when I find one. Okay, so here's a really good example. So this person visited the website April 21st, 2016. The user visited the website via direct, which means they literally typed in either the address or they clicked on a link that sent them straight to the website. They're on a mobile device. And what this user report shows is it breaks down what the person is doing on your site. 
So if we take a look at the first instance here, they arrived at the list of blog aggregator websites to promote your blog, and that's a page on my website. And I can see that what they did was, once they've clicked on this URL, they've clicked on the next ones that are in the same page. So they went from this page to this page to this page and then to this page. So if you're a company and you're trying to figure out, okay, I see a lot of people are going to my product, but why are they leaving right afterwards? Well, this user acquisition report, it can really tell you what the flow is on your website. Um, I kind of like to see in deeper analytics if people are clicking on links inside of my posts. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and bring it back again when I find an example of someone clicking on an outbound link or someone that just is clicking on an event that happens when inside the website. I'm going to go ahead and bring back everything so I can show you guys. Okay, so I had to mess around with it for a little bit. I actually had to switch into a different analytics platform away from wire.com. But here is an example of a different type of event besides a view. So this is a Shopify store, and you can see from this one that instead of a view on a page, there was actually an event firing that happened, and the event that happened was that they viewed a product on enhanced e-commerce. So I assume that enhanced e-commerce is something having to do with Shopify's reporting platform on how they track events, but you can see that that product was eventually the organic coconut caramel truffles. So what this can show you is the flow of the website, what people are clicking on, and what they eventually end up at. So you can see that once they visited the product, it looks like they went back to the home page, then they went to the contact us page. So from this information, you're probably wondering, okay, well, what does that really, how does this really help me? Well, from this alone, I can see that maybe when people click on this product, they have additional questions that I might need to put on this product page. And the reason I know that is because they immediately go to the contact us page right afterwards. So I encourage you if you have this audience option available, I know it still is in beta, but go ahead and check it out and see if you can tell the flow of where people are going to on your site. If they're landing on the home page, where are they going from the home page? If they land on one of your posts, are they going back to the home page and then to another post, or are they just leaving the site? So leave your comment below if you have additional information about um, user exploring Google Analytics, and hopefully it'll be out of beta soon so everybody can have the chance to take a look at it. So with that, I just wanted to give you a short overview. If you have any questions, you can go ahead and leave a comment below. Thanks, and I hope you have a great day.